Hey everyone, Rob here. Today I'm going to show you how to retire your old ceiling fan and install a new one. Let's get started. My old ceiling fan has done its job, and it's time for an upgrade. The manual for the new fan recommends having at least 7 feet between the floor and blades and 30 inches from the wall. Let's measure to make sure we're within these guidelines. I roughly measure to ensure we're within a margin of error. First things first, always turn off the power to the fan at the circuit breaker. Safety first. I start by removing the three LED bulbs. My old fan has three screws placed at thirds around each light's globe. This can be a bit tricky to handle, especially when making sure it's tight or removing it. Next, I remove the two screws from each blade located on the motor, dropping the screws as I go. Don't worry, I'll pick these up later. Hopefully, the new fan comes with screws. With the five fan blades off, I take off the light bulb housing. This is a best practice, though not strictly necessary. Now, I undo the two wire nuts, noting the wire colors, black to blue and white to white. Next, I remove the motor cover. And then, hopefully without falling, I remove the motor from the ceiling bracket. This one has three screws. I undo the four wire nuts, taking note of the colors, black to black, red to blue, white to white, and green to ground. Finally, I remove the rest of the old fan with just two more screws. These hold the bracket to the electrical outlet nailed to the cross beams of the roof. I fill in all the holes with caulk to deter attic spiders.
Now, let's install the new fan. I start by attaching the new ceiling bracket to the electrical box in the ceiling, using the screws provided. With no down rod needed, I directly attach the motor to the ceiling bracket. Secure it tightly. Next, I connect the wires from the fan to the wires in the ceiling, matching the colors. Black to black, blue to blue, white to white, and green to ground. Secure each connection with wire nuts. Now, I attach the fan blades to the motor using the screws provided. Make sure they're securely fastened.
With the fan blades on, I move to the light fixture. I attach it to the fan motor and connect the wires as instructed. Finally, I install the light bulbs and secure the four globes with the inside washer type nuts. Time to turn the power back on at the circuit breaker and test the fan. Everything works perfectly. The fan is spinning and the lights are on. That's it for today. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next time.